Welcome to the Swedish Maker. Today I'm making this walnut box with a plywood pattern lid. It's gonna be a pretty simple box with miter corners and uh, I'll do a pattern plywood uh, lid for the box and just six mil plywood for the bottom. And maybe I'll do an insert for compartments for my camera gear, I'm not sure yet. But I have this walnut and it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna start by cutting the miters and getting my measurements for the box straight. So let's get started. So let's just start by getting the table saw to 45 degrees. I'm not sure how big I'm going to make the box yet, so I have to figure that out as well. I'm just gonna lower the blade now that I know it's 45 degrees. And yeah. Let's get this thing started. Okay, so I have my, am I in focus? No. Okay, so I have my mitered pieces finished. And before I do anything with that, I'm going to make a patterned plywood lid for this. And it's going to be inserted uh, somewhere in here. So before I cut the grooves for the I'm lid, I'm just gonna rip a couple of pieces uh, of plywood and then glue them together. Okay, so the glue has been drying overnight and I glued this uh, plywood in on the diagonal so that I'll be able to cut it on the table saw on the diagonal to get diagonal pieces that I can glue up once again and then I can make the top plywood pattern. Um, I also made this push stick uh, with a 45 degree angle right here so that I can push the pieces through the table saw. Okay, so I have all the pieces I need and I'm going to start doing the glue up and normally I would do blue tape uh, and just fold it together, but I think it will be hard. Um, some of the pieces are kind of bent, so I don't know if I'll be able to force it with some clamps and glue 
we'll see. But yeah, so let's do the glue up and then I can cut it apart again on the table saw. So I think the glue is set, so I'm going to take it apart and do some sanding, fill some gaps with some sawdust and glue, and then I'll cut it apart. All right, I've cleaned up the edges and it's time to cut the box open, and I'm going to cut the longer side first. And now before cutting the short sides, I added these small pieces. So I have this brass rod as well and I've cut some small dowels from it and I'm going, going to add these dowels to the miters. All right, so I'm going to add some Danish oil to this, then I'll go inside and add some leather to the bottom and I'll consider it done. A while back I saw a box made by Claus Creations, uh, that's his name on Instagram, I think he has a YouTube channel as well, I'll link it down below. And he made a beautiful box in hickory with a plywood pattern lid and he also had dowels uh, on the front like I did here. So I was inspired by that and I thought I wanted to make something uh, like that but instead I used walnut and for the dowels I used brass. So I had some issues with the project. Uh, I was a bit cheap when I ordered the walnut and uh, I only got one board so I had to mill it down to really thin pieces. In hindsight I maybe would have made the pieces a bit thicker and I also left the material here in the workshop after I had milled it. Uh, so during the night it gets really cold in here because it's not isolated. So when I got back the next morning, one of the pieces were kind of bent. But the end result, I'm so happy with it. 
I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.